Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Lectures. We're gonna take a look at a game that I would like to see in a time capsule. And what I mean by a time capsule, it's a game that I would like to see preserved for future generations. A Dreamcast game that is above all else when it comes to the Dreamcast games and a game that is just as quirky as the console itself. And that's Shenmue. Shenmue's musical composers, Yuzo Koshiro, along with many others, offer a deep melodic sound that when first heard, you are taken to an early time of the Japanese history. Each tune offers a swaying notes that delivers a story within a story that can be felt throughout the speakers. The reason why I would put Shenmue in a time capsule because it epitomizes exactly what the Dreamcast is. It was fun, it was quirky, it had arcade bits built into the game, and just like the Dreamcast, it had a huge offering of arcade greatness. Originally slated as a five-part sequel, Yu Suzuki's vision was unmatched in scope. Delivering a living, breathing world set with ever-changing weather, day and night cycles, NPC daily schedules, mini games, and RPG-like elements sprinkled in, Shenmue delivered an overarching ecosystem that immediately drew the player in. Shenmue follows the story of Ryu Hazuki, a boy who witnessed his father being killed and must get revenge on the person who killed him. With two sequels under its belt and 18 years between the second sequel to the third, Shenmue fans were hoping for the close to Ryo Suzuki's story. I play through this game just about yearly and every time it just surprises me as to what more it offers. I'm not the type of person that plays as a completionist. I'm the type of person that just tries to get through A to B. And every time I play this, there's always something new for me to discover. New journal entries, new story elements, new conversations with NPCs. It, the list goes on and on. Is Shenmue rougher on the edges? Sure. But when you compare it to a game that was released, any game of that time is rough around the edges. Shenmue's gameplay isn't one that is action oriented. It instead mixes gameplay with various styles. From RPG elements that allow the player to find and level up attacks to driving sequences that, albeit small, allow you to better the money you earn at your daily job. Each gameplay element can change on any given day and any given playthrough. Shenmue 2's graphics hold up to today's standards. Yes, again, still rough around the edges, but still looks fantastic on a CRT. In 10, 20, or 50 years from now, if you were to put this game in, you'd still be amazed what the Dreamcast was capable of doing. Seen as one of the first console open world games, its gameplay, secrets, and story are second to none. So if I were to open this up and show my kids' kids, what the Dreamcast was, this is the game I let them play. Let me know which game you would put in the time capsule. Please put it in the comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, check out all my other videos. Thanks guys.